In this video I'm going to use Adobe Flash in order to create a pretty simple scene animation and then I'm going to use Dreamweaver to put it into a web page for ultimate publishing out to the web. So I'm here in uh, Adobe Flash and I've got an empty stage and I just kept all the default settings and I currently have a layer. Now the scene I want to go for is going to be a uh, a sunset scene. I'm going to have the sun slowly going down below the horizon and the sky darkening and the stars coming out. So we're going to use a uh, a motion tween and a couple of shape tweens to change color. So first I want to start to create my scene and I'm going to double click to create a new layer name here and I'll go ahead and call this my land layer. And in order to create my land here on scene one, so I'm going to use my rectangle tool, letter R, along with a green fill color and no stroke color and then I'll simply draw a rectangle on the lower portion of my stage. There we go, and if it goes off the stage a little bit, that's perfectly fine. Now that I've got that taken care of, I'll use my selection tool, which is letter V on your keyboard. Activate that, modify, transform, and I'm going to use envelop. And with this tool, I'll just give a, a nice hill effect to my land. Okay, now that that's taken care of, I can just click away and I can see my land. Now I'm going to create a new layer, layer 2, I'll call this sky. And very similar, I'm going to use my rectangle tool, but this time I'll use a light blue color. I'm going to draw a rectangle over the top portion of my stage, covering up the top of my land part. So there's my sky color. And so that my land is on top of my sky, I'll simply take my land layer and drag it up above the sky layer. So there we go, one's on top of the other. I'm going to create a new layer. This will be my sun. And with my sun, I'm going to use my, tool, my shape tool and I'll create an oval, which is letter O. The shape will be yellow, still no stroke color. Hold down my shift key to make sure it's a nice circle. There we go, so now I have a sunshine. If I don't like where it's at, I can use my selection tool and simply move it to a new location. There we go, things are doing great. And then I'm going to create another layer. My layer four, these will be my stars. Now with my stars layer, so that I can focus a little bit better, um, I'm going to go ahead and hide my land and my sun. And in fact, I'll lock all those other layers. Now I want to get the color of my sky, so I'm going to make sure that my sky is unlocked for a moment and use my eyedropper tool. Grab the color of the sky. Now I can lock my sky layer and even hide it for that matter. And back on my stars layer, I can use my shape tool here, create a poly star. And with the properties for this, I can go to options and instead of a polygon I'll choose a star number of sides 5, click OK and now I can create little stars okay so now I have a bunch of stars on there go ahead and hide this panel for now so now I've got my stars layer, and of course if I can see everything, the stars won't show up because they're on the blue. Notice though that some of them are overlapping my sun. No problem, I'll just simply take the sun and move it above the stars. Solves that problem. Now there's a couple things we might have to deal with overlap and rearranging these, but that'll come pretty soon. Now I'm just going to go over to frame 48 for my sun here. Actually, I'm going to do this. I'll do frame 48 for the stars. I'm going to press F6 to make a keyframe. Frame 48 for the land, F6 to make a keyframe. Frame 48 for the sky, F6 to make a keyframe. Now for my sun, selection tool, my sun there on frame 1. Oh, let me unlock, make sure I can select that one. In fact, I'll lock the others. I'm going to modify and convert it to a symbol. I'll just call it my sun symbol there. Name is sun. Click OK. And I'm going to right click and create a motion tween. Now of course my motion tween jumps to 24 frames because I'm already set to 24 frames per second but I can click and drag this out so it's 48 and matches up with everything else. On frame 48 of my sun there 
I'll simply take it and drag it down onto the land and I can see I have a little motion path no problem there and if I were to press my enter key now I can get a test and I can see how my sun is going to set now of course I want the sun to go behind the horizon so if I take my land and put it on top of the sun get the sun to go by behind the horizon great now for the other objects I'm simply going to do shape tweens but change their color I'm really not going to be changing their shape just using a shape tween for their color so for my land on frame 48 I'm going to use my selection tool well, let me make sure it's available for me so I'm going to just go ahead and unlock all my layers there my selection tool my land is active and I'm going to change the color to a really dark green and then for my land on any of the frames in between frame 1 and frame 48 I can simply right click create a shape tween there we go and now you'll see that the land slowly gets dark as the sun is setting I'm going to do something similar for my stars in my sky for my stars on their 48th frame on their last frame they're currently all selected I can see the little dot, dotted lines which show that my merges my merge shapes are selected if they weren't I'd use my selection tool and drag a box around them but there I'm going to change their color to a really light yellow right click on any frame in between the first frame and the key frame create shape tween there we go and for the sky on 48th frame my sky is selected change the color and I'll change it to a really dark blue right click on any frame in between create shape tween there we go so there's my illusion now that that's taken care of that's my that's my movie I'm pretty satisfied with it uh, let me go ahead and do a file save as I'm gonna save this to my desktop for now and this is going to be my flash file, my FLA file, which is my working file format for flash. And I'll simply call this sunset. Then I'm going to click on file, export movie. This is also going to my desktop. Notice it's going to be an SWF file. The SWF file is what's actually embedded as an object onto your web page. And I'll save that. Same file name is good. Now that that's taken care of, I can go to Dreamweaver. I'm on a basic web page here. I'll give myself a headline. And then I'm going to insert media SWF or a flash file. Of course, I'm on my desktop, so I can find my sunset SWF. There it is. Dreamweaver prompts me for some options. I'll give it a title and then click OK. Dreamweaver does its work and now if I check this out in my browser I'll simply look for the web page which I saved earlier sunset.html or sunsetflash.html and there we go so I now have my flash animation on my web page